Do you use furnace minecarts in Minecraft? No. Yeah, well, me either. Honestly, I forgot they even existed until I was reading an obscure Reddit thread a little while ago asking about the most useless Minecraft item. Furnace minecarts were the most upvoted comment. Naturally, I started looking into it and brainstorming some ideas a little bit, and furnace minecarts are actually pretty useful if done correctly, especially in the early game. They also come with some funny programming and mechanics that you have probably never heard about or even thought to try. So today, I thought it'd be fun to list off some creative uses for furnace minecarts in Minecraft. Number 1. Early Game Villager Transportation System if you don't know how furnace minecarts work, you right-click a bit of coal on one and it becomes powered, moving automatically. One single coal moves the furnace minecart 720 blocks, which is actually quite a lot if you think about it. The idea of the early game villager transportation system is quite simple. Powered rails are super powerful, yes, but also super expensive, requiring lots of gold. If your goal is getting a villager trading and breeding hub set up right away and your base is semi-far away from the nearest village, this may be the fastest and cheapest method early on. You see, you can link together minecarts as a sort of train using the furnace minecart and transport villagers without powered rails super easily and really fast. Oh, and I forgot to mention the best part about this, there's a funny glitch that still exists to this day because Mojang has barely even touched the furnace minecart in over a decade now. There's a way to get infinite power, meaning the minecart will literally go on forever until it's stopped in some way. To do this, all you have to do is start with two furnace minecarts. Simply push the back minecart in the front one and boom, it starts going. It will literally push the front minecart until there is an obstacle or the rails stop. No coal is even needed at all. To attach a villager to it, it does require one coal. Unfortunately, you can't push two minecarts together, but to get the infinite system working, just push the villager into the train and then put one coal in the middle furnace minecart. If your furnace minecart system has to go longer than 720 blocks, this will only take one coal every time. Super useful even if your village is thousands of blocks away from your base, or if you need to relocate your villagers 10 million blocks away for whatever reason. On that same train, heh, train, see what I did there, you can be really archaic and combine furnace minecarts with chest minecarts for an early game materials transportation system. I think Mojang has neglected minecarts in general and how they work for a very long time now. Like, it would be nice if we could connect them together using iron chains. But I mean, that would be too logical though. Anyway, if we use that logic of the villager transportation system idea, instead of a villager minecart attached to the back, attach a chest minecart. I almost like this method of materials moving better than shulker boxes even in the late game, because it keeps your inventory way less cluttered and you have complete control over where your materials end up. You could even have multiple rail systems going to multiple different types of bases, like say send your nether materials from your main base to your nether hub and all of your diamonds to your storage system. The possibilities here are only limited by your imagination. Quick fun fact interruption, furnace minecarts were added all the way back in alpha version 1.0.14, or the 7th Secret Friday update. It had a goofy mechanic at the time it was added that no matter how much coal you added to them, it would always stop moving after exactly 3 minutes from the last coal you put in the furnace. Meaning the coal addition wasn't cumulative and spamming the minecart was a complete waste of coal. And this was the case for quite a while and it wasn't changed to the cumulative power we have today until Minecraft's official 1.0 release. It's funny to think that it was even more useless back then. Number 3. Farming The furnace minecart speed is literally perfect for replanting your farms. If you run a rail alongside a farm that requires manual replanting, like wheat or nether wart for example, you can simply hold right click as you go along, and you won't miss a single block of replanting. This is kind of funny, but honestly it is super useful and fun. You can even combine it with a simple automatic hopper collection system so you can use the minecart train twice once for breaking the crop, and once again for replanting the crop. It's an incredibly cheap semi-automatic farm that doesn't require many expensive items to set up at all, like droppers, tons of redstone, and tons of pistons. It's also super satisfying with how easy it is just to hold down your mouse button and have everything work perfectly. Furnace minecarts react to rails in ridiculous ways. They are super finicky, which makes it hard to route them where you need them to go. 
This is one of many reasons why they're considered useless. For example, if there are any bumps in your minecart track, like these, they will not act according to plan. When the furnace minecart train goes up, the regular minecart behind it goes flying forward, but when it goes down, the regular minecart completely stops in its tracks. This mechanic got me thinking, what if we shot multiple villagers out of the uphill mechanic and then sorted them in some way? Introducing the villager sorting system cannon. Simply put the villagers in order of where they need to go, use detector rails to change the track but for the villager behind the first one, and send off the cannon. You can also use this sorting system with other mobs other than villagers for whatever reason you have in mind. But it's not the greatest system in the world and the time spent building it could probably be better spent just using a boat or a lead or any other simple method to sort your mobs, but it's Minecraft. You don't always have to follow the most efficient way. Like, you're allowed to have fun. Quick fun fact interruption number two. In Minecraft version 1.8 snapshots, Mojang actually finally updated the furnace minecart a little bit. They made it so they go much faster when boosting another minecart. However, this feature was removed a few snapshots later. Kind of sucks, but given how glitchy they are already, it probably just added more issues than it was worth. Number five, Casino. Wait, Ryan, what did you just say? Yes, you heard me correctly. Furnace minecarts have an absolutely hilarious bit of programming where when you run two of them straight at each other, the game will randomly choose which cart gets pushed through the other one. And every time you run them together, there's a different outcome. Which got me thinking, this system would make for such an easy game for gambling away diamonds and emeralds and netherite and other valuables. Like you would bet with your friend on if your minecart would win or not. And so I grabbed my friend Crazy Carlson and headed out to the casino. Unfortunately, I lost that one, but you can try your own luck with your friends. It'd be cool to incorporate this game into a casino-style build on a multiplayer server or something like that. Have you ever wanted to prank your friends but are tired of the classic ideas like pitfalls, TNT traps, and other minor boring inconveniences? Introducing the sixth and final creative use for a furnace minecart in Minecraft, the annoyance train. You see, furnace minecarts are loud. I don't know why they are like 50 decibels above every single other Minecraft item that exists. And the more furnace minecarts there are, the more exponentially obnoxious the sound becomes. That being said, the concept for the annoyance train is very simple. Find your friend's base, encase some rails in a massive obsidian right underneath the floor, and light up all of the furnace minecarts at once. It is so loud even through all of the walls. And the obsidian is a nice touch that makes for an unbelievably annoying time for your friend trying to find the source of the chaos. Final random fun fact interruption, it's not just Minecraft players who have a general very low opinion of furnace minecarts, it's also Mojang themselves. In fact, lead developer Jeb has toyed with the idea of removing them several times. And when console edition became bedrock edition back in the day, furnace minecarts were completely erased from existence. And the only way to get them back is by playing the legacy console version of the game. Like they are just not in bedrock at all. Any furnace minecarts left over from the legacy version that got converted to a bedrock world were automatically switched to regular plain old minecarts when bedrock came out. And well, I hope I inspired you in some way with these ideas. If you were a furnace minecart skeptic or critic before, I hope I at least slightly swayed your opinion. Let me know any other ways you've utilized furnace minecarts before in the comments below. Like the video and subscribe if you're brand new so you don't miss anything in the future. I love you all so so very much and I can't wait to show you what else is coming. Thank you so much for watching.